Hello, Photomaker Second Community. I'm Acid. This is the very first tutorial on how to make special stop bars change colors when you reach a certain level. The first thing we need to we need to do is look for our position. And as you can see, this is for special stock player two. Mine is 500. Yours may be different. Now, after we got that, go to our skill list, and we'll come up, and we'll go to our special stock. This is for zero. Okay, first variable, this is what makes everything work. If you do not have this set up correctly, it will not work. Now, as you can see, I'm using a task variable set to X coordinates. You do this by clicking replace and checking use even. Once you do that, set this to 500. It's the same. Have it point to here. Now, we have this variable. It's system variable E. Replace zero. And we have our image. Then our go to us back to one being our task variable this variable is for player two system variable I replace zero now we'll go to one and it's the same way it's just that the only thing that is different is our images and that our variable has increased to one same for two and three Now, once you have this set up, we'll go to our stock list, and we'll go to our layout. As you can see, my colors are inside my layout. This changes whenever I become a certain level. System variable E, it's above zero, meaning if it becomes one, go to this variable and as you can see it changes and it increases and it goes to the next one and then to the next one SGEs will point to zero all of them once you reach level 3 and you dip downgrade a level you use the super move it will instantly go back down to the desired level that the super move is set to Player 2 is set up the same way, mirrored, as you can see, it points to each different color, which is the system variable changed. It's above 0, meaning go to 1, go here. It's above 1, meaning become 2, go here. It's above 2, meaning it will be 3, go here. Now, after we have this set up, we'll go to our special stock gauge. Disregard this object here. All we're wanting to know is what this does. SG, SG. This points to a new skill I made down below. We'll go to our skill list and we would make these two skills. As you can see, my image for my gauge will pretty much be exactly where my layout is. You have to do it this way. There's no other way that I have found. If someone else has found another way, please let me know. Now, we'll have system variable E. It's above zero. Basically the same way our layout is set up just by using a different image what you could do is copy that and just change the image and set up the XY axis now same for player 2 unfortunately I can't record full screen so over here my special stock gauge for player 2 
is right over here to be right where my layout is for player 2 and the variables are the same way please note I'm using a different variable system variable I it's above 0 meaning it will be 1 goes to 4 meaning go to 4 here frame 4 it's above 1 meaning it will become 2 come here yes it is confusing that I said it, it will become 2 but trust me this works now once you've done that you can load up your game this may be a little laggy but as you can see my stock is one and we'll have Ken here display some moves as you can see the stock is changing color yes this is from favorite fighters too we'll see if I can perform a super move I might not be able to. Ken counters me. Well, that was a perfect example of how it works. As you can see, my stop bar changed color and still stayed there this is the only way possible I figured out how to do this now there might be other ways to do it I mean I believe some people have set it up within their stock number to display it but I like doing it this way considering that I can change the color and it's pretty much like the way it is in Marvel vs. Capcom Marvel vs. Street Fighter and so on there might be other games there's also a different way that was displayed inside KISS's RTP reference game where it was set up basically the way it is in SVC, SVC and also CVS 1 and 2 but uh, that's pretty much it I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I hope uh, you've learned something from it if you want me to make another tutorial about another system I have made within Fighter Maker 2nd, let me know in a PM. But anyway, this has been a FMHQ production.